Well, sorry for inconveniences. Um, probably let's wait a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think we can start. Uh, so as I said, on this slide, you can see the whole shame of the approach for creating model. Uh, it consists four steps. Uh, building of keyword vector, uh, selection of text, which can be accurately been reclassified, uh, vectorization of text uh, using the known keyword methods, and interpreted the result graphically using uh, multi-dimension scale. Let's look at each step in more detail. Uh, the first step is building the keyword vector. This vector will be used for following vectorization of text for classification. Uh, these steps include subtask of choosing frequency dictionaries of Ukrainian language, combining it, uh, limiting the number of keywords uh, by discarding stop words and rare words. Uh, the second stage is selection of text that can be easily classified when it uh, is definitely possible to conclude that the selected text belongs to the specific category. Uh, the third stage, uh, in the third stage, each text document is vectorized by the known uh, keyword search methods, TFEDF, dispersion relation, text run, and yeah. Um, TFEDF is probably pretty known method is statistical measures that uh, evaluate how relevant the words is uh, in document in collection of documents. Uh, this is done by multiplying two metrics, how many times words appears in document, and the inverse document frequency of words across sets of documents. Uh, the special evaluation uh, present as evaluation of importance of each word in the analyzed text by using the dispersion evaluation method. Uh, this uh, method relates the uh, uh, discriminant force of uh, words and love uh, getting words uh, that uh, uh, evenly uh, describe it from the general set of commonly used words in the text. Uh, the text trunk method is using for modeling text as indirected budget graph. Um, this method, uh, in this method, the keyword can detect uh, verticals of graph uh, and the relationship between the words is considered as H. Uh, the YAC algorithm takes into account the number uh, of importance uh, indicator of the text, such as word frequency, um, variety of context uh, of word occurrence and uh, frequency of word occurring in different centers. Uh, in the fourth stage, the result is interpreted graphically using the multi-dimension scaling. Uh, multi-dimension scaling search a low uh, dimensional representation of data uh, in which the distance and uh, respect uh, uh, well the distance and its original high dimensional space. Uh, solving the optimization problem, we find the mapping from multi-dimensional space to two-dimensional space, which makes it possible to obtain uh, a two-dimensional graph of, of the relative position of the points factor and uh, visually access the quality of the model for the classification task. It was proposed visual criteria for accessing the quality of modeling, which are uh, presented on the current slide. Uh, it's a three criteria. First criteria, a high level model. Second is acceptable level. And third is unsatisfactory level. Uh, for the first uh, criteria, high level, we can see that there is uh, clearly separated places. Uh, in the second criteria, we see a little um, Mm. So that class is a little attendant e with each other. And for third criteria, we can see that uh, classes even intersect. Uh, such model can be considered as good and it needs refinement. Uh, this slide is showing the corpora of user for research. All of them is described in the paper with all reference. So I think there's no sense to take your time to describe it again for more, for more, more detail with reference to paper. Let's move on. Uh, validation of a positive model was developed an experimental application. Uh, 
if we use it uh, 1,500 force vector and two corpus, uh, each of them contain 200 text and uh, 500 word for each text. Uh, it's enough to use two categories to validate the proposed model um, and conduct experimental research because uh, the research goal is binary classification. Uh, the research was conducted for four methods and the research for each of them is presented on slide. Uh, in the first and second picture is presented result for TFDF method and uh, there is for TFDF method and uh, discussion relation. Uh, as you can see, the division of classes is not clear and there is even intersection of classes. So this method shows an uh, intersectory result. In the third and first picture is presented the result for text trunk and TIAC methods. Uh, both of uh, this method using uh, more characteristic than previous ones. For example, text trunk method use not only the actual position of word in text, but also the represent, uh, relationship between words. Uh, and that's why this method has shown a pretty high effectiveness, effectiveness uh, in the division of text by category. YAC takes into account also a lot of important indicator of text. Uh, however, category are divided uh, not such clear. Uh, the methods show less satisfactory result. As a conclusion of this study, we can identify the following results. Uh, it's established that the best ability of separation during classification text is observed uh, with vector lengths of uh, 1,500 words. Uh, it determines the optimal dimension for the model. According to the result of text classification, it was determined that text trunk method for keyword searching is the best method for proposed model. And also it was confirmed that multi-dimension scaling method uh, for visual analysis is effective tool for visual verification of classification result. As about further research, we're going to improve uh, the above approaches to, of factorization. Uh, focus research on improving the general vector of words of the everyday Ukrainian language and solving problem of uh, determining the text sentiments uh, of uh, messages during online communication. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please ask it. Thank you, Tani. Thank you very much. If you have a question about what I would ask, you can contact any officers using the mail in the slide. Can I proceed? Yes. yes. Uh, thank you for your speech, Vitaly. I have a question. Uh, how did you measure the results of your method? Uh, the results of our methods was uh, uh, measured visually. We used uh, multidimensional scaling to visually present the results of our classification. And uh, uh, during the, I can probably return to slide. And using the one of this criterion, we um, accept the quality of this model. I hope it answer your question. All right, thank you. Yeah, understood. Thank you for the question. Okay, thank you. Well, dear participants, so we have five more presentations. So. Uh, that are due to start in 10 minutes. Maybe we can um, make a coffee break. Well, don't, don't switch, uh, don't switch from uh, the session. Well, we will wait for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then we will decide, <laughs> decide on our further actions. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good, thank you so much. So yeah, good afternoon, Alex. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be a part of such a kind of conference. 
And uh, today I would like to present you uh, our research. So uh, the topic of our research is um, S&P 500 index as an applied intelligence system for analyzing the development of e-commerce. So we did um, research uh, based on uh, the uh, S&P uh, 500 index. So first of all, let me start uh, about explaining a few words about this index here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, there are four uh, four main e-commerce uh, sectors, including in the S&P in the uh, 500 index. And actually we analyzed all of them. So this is online uh, retail. This is interactive social network. This is consumer uh, goods stores and uh, hypermarkets. So uh, uh, there are a lot of things that can influence uh, this index, yes, but this is very important for, for a company to be in, in that list, yeah, because uh, the active growth of uh, e-commerce market is called by actually the rapid development of technologies in the world, yes, and as... Um, as well as the strengthening of the company's activities on the internet to establish like modern process of selling uh, their services and goods and so on. So e-commerce is an, uh, you know, actively aimed to at the uh, sale of goods and services using information technologies based on network in inter interaction between uh, buyers and sellers sellers yeah so uh, actually uh, speaking about um, the s and p 500 so it is like a stock index in the list of uh, in the that is actually listed uh, 500 largest companies yeah and the s and p 500 index was created in 1957 yeah uh, by company standard and uh, poors yeah but actually it, it has some difference um, between uh, both of them yeah so uh, first of all uh, what company uh, should uh, have yeah or uh, what um, to be to be actually on the on the s p 500 list the company must meet uh, actually some criteria so first of all uh, first of all yeah uh, market capitalization yeah uh, high liquidity of shares um, share and uh, share the shares of free circulation and so on yeah so nowadays we can say that e-commerce representatives need to trade their shares on, on stock market as they will have you know more opportunities to develop and increase profit and so on and thanks to such an index it is possible to analyze the company uh, efficiency yeah investment attractiveness uh, future development and 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 so on yeah so the main task of of our study is to analyze actually the indicators of of the s and p 500 index and also assess the wave of e-commerce representatives and the dynamics of companies yes influences on on the index and also identifying the companies and and play that actually plays the largest role uh, of the index uh, in the e-commerce sector yeah uh, so we have a lot of, you know, uh, authors that studied this uh, index and they did a great researches yes, about it. Uh, but actually, the, the main objectives of this study is uh, our main objectives actually are to analyze the S&P index for company representing different fields of activity and also assessment of the wave of e-commerce representatives and dynamics of companies influence in on the index yeah uh, so based on uh, on uh, our, on the databases yeah it is actually ne necessary to determine how s&p index uh, will change then the value of companies uh, of companies share changes yeah so to do this it is you know advisable to use the uh, regression uh equitation yeah so here we have like a list 
uh, of companies that have staked in the S&P 500 index. So here we uh, decided to present um, the companies that we analyzed. Uh, also, it should be noted that the um, startup, um, startup dates of companies are characterized by by a large gap in the time range yeah so this is 1902 and uh, 2015 so in such circumstances starting point of being of the s p 500 is actually in the stock market yeah is 1950 so concerning the the companies that they're established earlier, you know, 1950 was considered the first year as, as it is necessary to estimate um, that they have increased, you know, their wave in the index. Uh, so we did a lot of calculation and also some researches about uh, such a kind of um, index, yeah, and calculations that are made to determine the change in the value of the S&P 500 index there are the share price changes for the above companies using EU software package. Yeah? So we analyzed, uh, uh, like um, we decided to um, divide the, the um, companies yeah, on such a kind of fields like online retail, uh, interactive means of um, communication, consumer goods store and some large uh, supermarkets or hypermarkets. So first of all, we analyzed Amazon booking uh, holdings, um, uh, eBay, uh, Alphabet, Facebook, Twitter, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Target, Walmart, uh, Walmart and Costco. Uh, let me, okay, good. Um, so um, here is presented uh, the dynamics of the development of co companies, yeah, with the uh, Significant significance in the S and P five hundred index. So similarly, the, uh, actually, we analyze the the uh, selected representatives uh, representatives of e commerce, which are included in the S and P five hundred list. So the result actually uh, was presented here. Yeah. So he. What, what can we draw? Yeah, first of all, uh, we, we can draw the following conclusions. Yeah, so the, the theory of there's the e-commerce companies uh, representatives are becoming increasingly important. Yeah, so every year as well as becoming, you know, major uh, player in the international um, area. So this is correct. Actually, this was proved, yeah. so. If to make you know a more detailed analysis of each of the companies, it can be said that our hypothesis was actually proven for uh, Amazon booking holding, um, uh, booking holding, and that's it. Yeah, but for for eBay, Alphabet, and Facebook, uh, also. Yeah. However, this study actually showed that some of the selected company on the contrary yeah they reduces their weight in um, in the s and p 500 index so such companies either um, experienced uh, a crisis or or become less um, efficient and attractive to investor for some reasons so uh, actually we we have you know detailed analysis in in our uh, study to each company uh, but let me, you know, go to the uh, recommendations first of all. Yeah. Uh, so uh, here you have the main list uh, of uh, recommendations because uh, actually this this companies also develop and become more attractive or at least remain at the same level. Yeah. So it is necessary to make like comprehensive changes within the each company. So. For this reason, we uh, decided to develop this recommendation for increasing the attractiveness of companies representative, you know, that, that reduce their weight in uh, S&P uh, 500, yeah? So uh, what, what else can be mentioned here, you know, because the list is really great. So also one more thing is uh, implementation of measures to avoid certain risk, for example, limit to concentration of risk, um, 
uh, some risk insurance yeah and the uh, creation of uh, special reserve fund and so on yeah also increasing uh, the level of product uh, competitiveness increasing the, the scale of uh, production to um, to uh, actually the introduction of new technologies that increase productivity yeah reduce material consumption and improve product uh, quality and so on but actually one more thing that i would like to add that this is going to be you know uh, a good experience for ukraine so we have to look you know um at such a kind of company and uh, among the high um efficient companies uh, in Ukraine. Um, we have like Rosetka, La Moda and Hotline. So they all show the same characteristics uh, today. They show actually high level of um, user registration on the side, yeah, but actually the interaction rate is, you know, lower than, than the level of registration. Yes, yeah? so such representatives actually receive better return on invest in, in the short term, but actually the level of uh, consumer value in a long run may decline. Yes, yeah? so uh, this actually will be good experience for, for our country and for our companies. Um, so yeah, actually uh, going to the conclusions. So this quantitative study identify actually and analyzed four main e-commerce uh, sectors as it was already mentioned, yeah. And according to the result, we can say that the most important for the S&P 500 index and the most um, efficient, invest attractive and uh, constantly moder uh, uh, modernizing yeah, e-commerce are uh, retail on the internet and interactive uh, social medias. Yeah, so here is also some kind of uh, results of our study. So thank you very much for attention. Yeah, I, I try to do it as much as quickly, but uh, yeah, thank you so much. Maybe- uh, Thank you very so much. Think, yeah. Okay, we have time for questions and for discussion. Okay, I left here my email. So if someone will have any questions, feel free to, to text me and I'll do my best, you know, to answer all the questions. Well, yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so good, great. Thank you we so can much. Move forward, uh, but again, we have no speakers. Well, uh, and uh, still for presentations, I consulted the organizers, the representative organizing committee during our break. So, and they say that we should wait for the participants. So, um, well, taking into consideration so the situation. Uh, so the next uh, presentation, Alina Dmitriev, Lyubomir, Chirun, Roman, Holoschuk, and Svetlana Holoschuk, uh, again scheduled on um, uh, 1730, 1745. Well, we have one minute left. Well, but nobody joined. Okay, and we have six uh, minutes uh till the end of the zoom session wow maybe then we will rejoin i, I, I don't know so uh, i am online <laughs> so i, I will uh, switch the new um start the new session well and then it's uh, up to you well whether to join and to wait for the participants <laughs>